If it were not so, I would have told you. I want to prepare a place for you. The candlelight service for late Nollywood actor Obina Wanfo, popularly known as St. Obi, took place on Friday, August 11, 2023 at the Civic Center, Victoria Island, Lagos State. Organized by the Actors Guild of Nigeria, the gathering to bid farewell to the late actor was a sad, calm and touching occasion where family, friends and loved ones came together to honor his memory. The president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, Emeka Rolas, filmmaker Zeb Ejiro, Lillian Batch, Victor Osuagu, Charles Okafor, Shegmu Arinze, and a host of others were spotted at the event wearing all white to honor the beloved actor. Late St. Obi's ex-wife, Lindia Amobi, also graced the event with her three young children despite all the accusations about her role in the veteran Nollywood actor's untimely death. While everyone wore white, Linda wore an all-black mourning outfit, and she is traditionally mourning the father of her children regardless of separation and divorce. Irrespective of all the controversy about his sad and sudden death, was St. Obi honored and immortalized like the legendary figure he was? Hello guys, it's Tickled here for African Glitz. I'm sorry to say this. But that's not possible. Mariam and I have come a long way. We've been through the good times and the bad times. Nollywood actor Saint Obi, best known for playing a gentlemanly role in movies, passed away suddenly on Sunday, May 7, 2023. According to reports, the veteran Thespian was battling an undisclosed illness while living at his sister's home in Tudunwada, Jaws. Unfortunately, the actor popular for roles in movies such as Candlelight, Sakobi, Executive Crime and Last Party and State of Emergency didn't survive the illness. He sadly passed to the great beyond at age 57. As Nollywood actors and fans of the legendary actor sent their condolences from far and wide, friends of the actor seized the opportunity to proportion blame on his ex-wife, Lindia Amobi, lamenting that she played a massive role in his tragic passing. Back in 2006, St. Obi married Lindia Amobi, who was a top staff member at MTN, a well-known telecommunications company at the time. The beautiful couple shared a marital bond for a period of 15 years, during which they were blessed with three children. Sadly, a few years later, their marriage hit the rocks, and in February of 2022, the now late actor and his ex-wife locked horns in court over custody of their children. The custody battle was still ongoing in court when the actor passed. In a lengthy piece, Nollywood actor journalist Zig Zulu alleged that St. Obi died a sad, frustrated and lonely man who his wealthy wife and her family maltreated. According to him, the marriage isolated him from long-term friends. But more tragic is the fact that his marriage did not only take away Obina from his friends, but it also took him away from Nollywood. St. stopped acting, absconded from his career and perhaps his calling. Zig Zule wrote, alleging that even friends were not welcomed to the naming ceremony of the late actor's children. Zig Zulu was not alone. Famous filmmaker Zeb Ejiro, also one of the good friends of the late veteran Nollywood star, revealed in an interview that the shock of St. Obi's failed marriage killed him. That's not all. Zeb Ejiro revealed that his ex-wife refused the late glamour girl star actor access to his children, which further worsened the heartache. He told me a couple of times that his marriage was crumbling and it was eating him up. He was a family man, somebody that loved to stay with his kids and build a happy home. But when his marriage crumbled, it affected him and he never recovered from the shock till death. When a man is not together with his family, he will be depressed. No man wants to go into that kind of situation and be happy. So that contributed to his death. Zeb Ejiro explained during the interview, in no time, St. Obi's passing became a controversial cautionary tale for men to marry a kind woman and one that will give them peace of mind. However, just as the story went viral, so did the late actor's family work hard to change the narrative surrounding the late actor's death. In a May 18 statement signed by the actor's two elder sisters on behalf of their family, they emphasized that some of the articles about Obi were untrue and should be stopped immediately to avoid misinformation. Reacting to his claims, the family of Obi described Zigzulu's statement as false, malicious and insensitive, adding that they do not concur with such a narrative. The family went further to compliment his estranged wife, who they described as the opposite of what Zulu's article portrayed her to be. 
They also released photos to debunk claims that Obi never invited his colleagues to his child's dedication. The late actor's ex-wife, Linda, has surprisingly been silent about all the accusations and allegations, paying them no mind. Regardless of the circumstances surrounding St. Obi's passing, family, friends and Nollywood colleagues all dropped their differences to honor the late actor at the candlelight service organized by his family. On August 11, an all-white themed ceremony was held in Lagos with a procession that started from Oriental Hotel and ended at Civic Center, Ozumbambadwe, Victoria Island. Veteran actors were spotted at the venue in all-white outfits. A row of members of the late actor's family, including his ex-wife's side, were also captured all uniting at the event. Linda Amobi asked actor's ex-wife, wore all black, while her three young children wore baby blue African print as they witnessed their father's candlelight. While the late actor's ex-wife was mostly seen greeting guests during the event hosted by MC Oyoyo, his children took Bible readings at the service. St. Obi's first son, Chidera Nwafo, did the first Bible reading. Remember now your creator in the days of your youth, before the difficult days come, and the end of your year when you say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun will light. The late actor's second son did another Bible reading and gave a moving speech about death. Death is so much what I'm talking about. Then sent Obi's only daughter and youngest child, Nemdi, whom he did a viral dance video with a few years before his passing, did a presentation of another Bible reading. This is the Lord, the word of the Lord. <laughs> Gospel singer Frank Edwards rendered some solemn songs during the procession. Amid comments from fans, St. Obi will be greatly missed and not forgotten. His family have announced that the actor will be laid to rest finally on Friday, August 18, 2023. Tell us, guys. Would you say Nollywood actors paid a befitting homage to the well-loved actor? Did the late actor's friends, family and colleagues do the right thing by putting aside their differences to honor him? <laughs> Finally, regardless of all the reports about his wife being the cause of the death, are you surprised to see her at the candlelight hosted by Nollywood AGM? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news who know you'd like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time you upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.